Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right! Welcome to an unboxing Saturday today. I uh, just got a couple of things. It's been kind of slow. I didn't get something that I was kind of planning on, but that's all right. We got a couple of things. Uh, let's start with a bag first. We're gonna alternate this to kind of keep it uh, snappy. How's that? Well, hopefully you guys are finding stuff. But bam, here we go. We got it. We got another one of these here. Uh, 2020 Land Rover Defender 90s. Yeah, I've been uh, really scoring these at the Dollar General. Yes. Yeah, I think it's Dollar General. Yes, Dollar General. They've been getting a case in uh, of, of these, and I've been scooping them up. I just happened to be there at the right time. Awesome. Well, let's go over to one of these here bags. I guess they're kind of bags. I don't know. Um... Stoat, S-T-O-W, Stoat, O-W, O-H, that's uh, Ohio, yes, all right, let's see what I got from Ohio, yeah, even the stuff, oh, my blades are uh, pretty dull, that's the ones that cut you, so be careful, uh, yeah, things have been pretty slow on uh, eBay, well, slow for me because things are going so darn tootin' high, it's just kind of crazy. Um, this one here, I know, uh, shipped and everything, cost me five bucks. So yeah, things are just uh, right up there. Hey, look at this though. This is a gem here. Yeah, uh, minty mint. Oh, that's nice. That is minty mint. Look at that. So this is the Canyon base. A uh, little, little dusty in there. They must have had it displayed. But it is brand new minty mint. I like that. Uh, let's see. So what do we have here? Land Rover Freelander China. Uh, 1998. So um, let's see. This is on the card. I want to say this is like one of the first editions. Um, you know what? Does that look... Does that... Does that roof look a little dented in? It does, because you can see the glass is kind of bowed there. Yeah, <laughs> it does. Uh, good paint job and and uh, stuff. Oh, we got something in the something in the wheel there, but uh, not scratched up or anything. But boy, we got something going on there in the roof. But that's all right. That's all right. Very very nice. Um, if you guys um, look. Um, B-A-M-C-A, -A, uh, the Bay Area Matchbox uh, Club. Uh, if you go and looked up the Freelander in Matchbox uh, inventory, there is quite a bit a, of um, variations with the wheels. Uh, yeah, smaller. It's the same wheel, but then the, the little triangles here are smaller and bigger. So, yeah, it, it's kind of interesting to, uh, look at that, bugger bounce, that's cool. Anyway, all right, well, let's go back to a bag here. Okay, again, again, this is a yellow bag, just like the last yellow bag I had. So you probably can guess what I got in there, huh, from Dollar General. Yeah, ba bam there's another one. Nice. I still, you know, Matchbox doesn't really do much for errors or anything like that. Their quality control is way better. Of course, they don't produce as much as uh, Hot, Hot Wheels does. So P23, uh, that's uh, the 23rd week of the, of the year. And this is the 29th. I think that's what that means. Nice pair of boys. Look at that metallic green. That is really nice. Really nice. I like those. Yeah, I, I, I can't get enough of those. That's for sure. I think they're kind of, well, I don't know if they're, you know, really flooding the market uh, with uh, those or not. I'm not really sure. All right, let's go back over to our envelope again. And uh, <laughs> I bought these from the same seller, Steve. Uh, from uh, OH uh, Ohio. Ah, yeah, probably had to pay shipping for both of them separately and he could have saved money, but that's all right. What do you know? 
Uh, so let's see what we got in this bugger here. So I'm assuming I'm going to get the same kind of packaging. Kind of, yeah, yeah, we're doing all right. All right. I usually try to watch. Um, they must have ended in a different time. Uh, and I, I usually try to get them to combine shipping and save me money. But uh, once again, I think I, once again, I think I got this for less than uh, five bucks or thereabouts. Full roof, the full metal jacket on the. Uh, whoop! Turn it around here. The Land Rover Defender 110, 1997. So this came out a year before this, because this is 1998. So yeah, that was kind of exciting times. And as I say, this came out with the full metal on top for quite a few years. And this is the, uh, it says Defender 10 on the back quarter panel, Land Rover badge on the door. This is just side tampos, nice white wheels. These are the regular, they're not the low profile wheels. You can watch for variations on some of these 110s uh, have the low profile, which are really sharp. But uh, yeah, so there you go. Thailand, because that was his China. Hmm, interesting. So what happened here was that you know this is so heavy. This this uh, shoulder, the, the the roof rack and the roof is a lot of metal. That's almost a quarter inch uh, on the railing there, even though it is indented, you know, but uh, or you know uh, molded in. That is still quite a huge piece of metal. So the second version, let's see, they went from the back. Um, let's see, from from the, the railing. They kept the back railing of the roof rack. And they went to, I think, right about here, wasn't it? Yeah, they went to about here and took this metal out and, and replaced it with the, the window section this has got uh, smoke windows very nice has a full interior in it and then the uh, second uh, release or the third it should be the third generation they went ahead and they cut along the, the roof rack there the back there all the way and they even did the uh, spotlights the 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 uh, heller lights the roof rack lights there were now plastic and uh, and then I believe they changed the uh, snorkel. But anyway, if you want to, you can check out. I've got a video on my collection of 110s. And I think there's even a video in the Matchbox playlist that if you're interested, I go, I go through the whole uh, thing. I mean, even Landley Group did a whole thing on how they redid everything practically. And they made it a little bit shorter too. I think that was the other thing. It's not quite as tall. It's it's a little bit shorter. But anyway, I, it's just great that they are still producing the 110. I know it's plastic, but what are you gonna do? I mean, this was a very heavy, heavy, heavy um, uh, casting. So yeah, it's really kind of cool. So there you go, it's a Matchbox unboxing. Yeah, I suppose we'll tell everybody about that. Some of the new stuff, some of the old stuff. That's really kind of cool, I like that. This one doesn't bounce as much. This, these uh, Freelanders had um, a, a piece of metal that attaches in the middle that holds the wheels um, down. And that's what gives it the, the, the great suspension there is that uh, piece of metal. And if you've ever seen any kind of the uh, restorations, you know, from other people and stuff like that, you can see that how, how that uh, little plastic, no, metal strip, it's got a hole that's punched in the middle of it and that provides um, good bounce. All right, that's it. I got to get out of here. It's Saturday. I'm headed over to uh, the local diecast meet today, so hopefully I can find some more things. So next week probably will be the uh, local diecast unboxing video. You guys, get out there. First off, before you leave, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe and share and go over to Facebook. 
I always point over there, Facebook, drop a comment, drop a picture. It's all in anything Land Rover over there. So there you go. This is your friend Dano saying thank you. Oh, we should really focus in on something while we're out. All right. This is your friend Dano saying thank you for joining me today. And remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.